Okay, it's a hot day here in Texas, but I want to introduce you to my Vespa GTV 300. And I want you to notice I've got the Prima cover on it. I'm not trying to sell Prima covers, I'm just telling you that it works great. Main thing I use it for is to cover up the, uh, the um, leather seats. And the first thing I want to recommend to you is that you take the, uh, there's a rubber, there's a rubber um, bungee cord that goes all around this bottom. Go ahead and take that out because it, it constricts it too much, makes it difficult to put on and to take off. It's like trying to put a cat, you know, a, a, a sweater on a cat. You start to fix one thing, and next thing you know, the other thing comes off. So uh, the cover comes off very, very easily and stores underneath the seat. Seat is right here. Press the button, and you've got this area underneath the seat. Now, you don't want to store anything under there that is going to get uh, hot uh, because um, uh, the engine is right beneath this thing and it does get warm. So you can put uh, you can put your cover in there, you can put helmets in there, but I want you to note that there's some pegs right here, some little pegs. And all you do is you hang your your helmet on that peg and when you shut the seat, why it's it's secure, all right? And uh, I want also to note want you to note that when I bought this, the leather protruded over the uh, seat. I ended up took and taking a um, exacto knife and cutting that off wasn't a big deal but I just didn't like it hanging there and I understand that after a period of time it's not uncommon to have to take the seat if it's leather and to stretch it you take the staples off and restretch it I read about that also want you to notice that I've got the luggage case on the back very cool uh, I'd say if there was anything to be fixed on this it would be that they changed the way the lock mechanism is notice that I can't just press a button and open this I have to use my key to open it. So I'm going to turn it and open it. It's got plenty of room in there. You can put a large helmet. You can put a, a small briefcase. Go to the store. Fantastic for that. I just don't like the fact that you have to use a key to get in there. It's got a nice, uh, a nice uh, uh, backrest for your passenger. My wife loves that. Uh, also notice in the back, I did get this from, from uh, Scooter West, some Italian flag bolts. About uh, $12. Again, I'm not trying to sell anything for Scooter West, but they are really a, a great source for different components. Also, speaking of the key, notice that I've got a blue key. That's the key you want to use for your ignition. It comes with a blue and a brown key. But the brown key contains your code for building new keys. If you lose that key, you can't make new keys, and it'll cost you $800 to change the computer out. But let's go ahead and start it up real quick. Just press the button, press the, the brake, any of the brakes. You don't have to press it hard and just start it right up. Now I want you to notice a couple things here. One, I've got the standard muffler that came with the bike. I've got about 600, about 500 miles on it right now. Love this, love this muffler because when me and my wife are riding, we can talk to each other. Even when I have it up at the speed, it isn't too loud, so we can comfortably speak to each other, and we love that part. I know that you can get the other mufflers that have get you another uh, horsepower or uh, maybe even two, but they do come with a price, and that comes with it makes it loud. Also, notice on this handlebar that there's this weight right here. There's a weight on each side, and that weight came with the luggage rack, and I suspect it was because of the buffeting of the luggage rack it might cause the handlebar to shake or whatever, but. Uh, I didn't. I never tried riding without it, but I put the weights on there that came with the luggage rack. Comes with a longer bolt, and it worked fantastic. So there's there's no issues. Brakes are dual disc brakes on this bike, so you have very good braking power. In addition, uh, I didn't show you inside, but there is no there is no carburetor. This is a fuel injected bike. I'm getting about 61.8 miles per gallon. And I keep very, very good records on this. And uh, it's rated for 65 to 70. But i got to be honest with you, I drive it pretty, pretty hard. Notice also that if I press this button, I've got my little, uh, little case where I can keep my glasses or other small items. Notice this right here. This is a aftermarket. I just put this on. It took me about uh, five minutes. And this is the 12-volt 
um, cigarette lighter uh, adapter so that I can run my GPS and I've got a GPS adapter coming soon. I'll probably take another video and show you how easy that was to go on. Notice right here 489 miles and that's in about three weeks. I love the lines on this bike. It's again Portofino green. Nice little luggage rack. You can use your um, bungee cords or whatever. That luggage rack, there was also a luggage rack for the back, but of course the luggage case uh, sits on that. Uh, one more thing about that luggage case, if, if Vespa was looking, I wish that they would have made it so that you could easily remove it with the key. You know, underneath maybe a key and then take the luggage case off when you don't need it. Um, one of the things I want you to also note about Vespas, and you don't uh, see this talked about too much, but this has a trailing link suspension. The fork is actually here, but the axle and where the wheel is, is further back. What that does is it makes it much easier to roll over holes and, and going over bumps and things. Uh, when this uh, bike was originally designed, it was designed back after World War II and, or back after World War II, there were a lot of potholes and, and the roads were very rough, as you can imagine. And this bike takes the bumps beautifully. I accidentally ran over a pothole that I saw it coming there's nothing I could do about it. I just hit it head on, and I'm telling you, it didn't feel like anything. For the passenger, you've got the foot pegs. These are not for stepping on. I was warned, do not stand on this to get on. This is just for your passenger to rest their feet on. And so they, they go in and out very, very easily. So there you go. Quick review of the uh, GTV 300. I absolutely love this bike. I've had it up as high as 75 miles an hour. Uh, I routinely ride it around at 50, 60 miles an hour, and people are just amazed at this thing. How beautiful it is, how fast it is. Everyone wants one. Out the door, here in the U.S., it's going to run you about $8,000, $8,100 out the door. They're real sweet to you. They'll, they may throw in a, a little half helmet or something like they did for me. Uh, thank you all very, very much. And... Uh, Signing off of YouTube.